All right, here we are at uh, Soaring Academy, Crystal Airport. This is where all the magic happens. Look at all these beautiful gliders here. We're here for the uh, unboxing and installation setup of uh, just Soaring's new sim rig, the Glider Sim Pro. My name is Mitch Thompson. I'm the founder of Just Soaring, and uh, let's get this uh, party started. We're gonna come in here and uh, unbox this thing, get our stuff. latest and greatest flight simulator cockpit for us glider pilots. And today we're gonna do an unboxing and a setup, and just kind of show you how this thing goes together. Uh, this box looks really big. It kind of is, but it's. Um, it's, uh, it'll ship UPS ground or FedEx ground. It's a uh, 120 pounds, uh, for about four feet by two and a half by two. Um, definitely a two person lift, but you can you get know, one person in a hand truck, uh, no problems. The interior um, packaging is kind of provisional. We're gonna, we're gonna, there's some void space we're gonna fill and stuff, but the overall dimension uh, and the contents of the box will pretty much be the same. So here we go. So first out of the box is going to be the seat. This is actually the seat base. You can see the aluminum plate. It's got these little ears for the uh, for the nuts to go in. It's uh, it's got a nice. Uh, Tear this off. I need this more. It's got a nice uh, kind of a carbon finish here. Got sort of a nice uh, kind of a neutral gray taupe, and then uh, sort of a charcoal black. And this is our this is our color scheme. I'm trying to make it as chameleon as possible, fit in with as many interiors as possible. Um, and it's a little different than the pictures we have up on the website now, but we'll get that updated. Yep. All right, so next next up, um, which is just under the seat base, uh, this is our uh, flight controls. So nicely packed in some uh, protective uh, EPE foam. So got our air brake, flaps, USB cord, and then of course over here, we've got the uh, the landing gear, and uh, we'll we'll uh, we'll install these here in, in a minute. But first, that's uh, that's kind of how they come out of the box. Tow release everything. So, all right. All right. Next up, we've got uh, we've got this beautiful seat back, and I'll just kind of unceremoniously. Rip this open. Fender did a really nice job with the embroidery. Love that. And again, we got the same same kind of finishes. Got this kind of faux carbon, the black, the gray. Um, this is a uh, this is technically a racing seat for car simulators. Uh, we're kind of dual purposing it for for gliders and ergonomically it lays out uh, really, really nice. So I'm just gonna set this down here for a second and then uh, get some water and we'll we'll dive into the to the rest of this. Alright. And then underneath our our uh, really pretty well designed GPE foam packaging here, we've got the uh, Got the joystick, a kind of flight controller. Of course, this has our. Uh, these are uh, five position buttons: up, down, left, right, press, with push to talk (PTT). So we have a total of eleven uh, assignable uh, button settings in uh, Condor or your flight simulator of choice. Um, and these these nice little connectors. We do have to be careful with these uh, and we don't want to step on them. Uh, bad things happen. So be careful with these. They can be crushed and so we always want to be mindful of where those are on the floor when we have heavy 
aluminum framing and all that kind of stuff. And then speaking of aluminum framing, so last but not least, as we keep digging into the packaging here, uh, this is the uh, this is going to be the T-slot uh, aluminum, and I'm probably going to I'm going to probably pull this out of the box so we can get at it a little bit better. Good. Go for it. Yep. All right, and so this is the uh, this is called T-slot aluminum. Um, this stuff has been used for a long time in various uh, industries. Uh, I think even our photographer guy that's holding the iPhone there might use this in his uh, in his job before um, with different camera rigging and setups and stuff like that. So this stuff's been around for a while. Um, and then in the last several years especially, it started to become real popular for uh, uh, various simulators, especially like car racing simulators, that kind of thing. And so, wow, this packaging is actually really pretty nice. Uh, they're all separated here with cardboard separators uh, that keep them from getting damaged. And you can kind of see, and I'll show you in just a minute about how the fastening hardware works. But if I can just get one of these out of here. Here we go. You can see kind of the, the cross section profile of this stuff. It's actually really cool. Um, and so basically what a square nut comes in here uh, and then the screw comes comes down here it pulls that nut up against and then it fixes in position uh, whatever you're trying to do um, basically and that's that, that's uh, that's pretty much that so cool we'll start throwing this thing together uh, just give us a minute here to tidy up and then we'll start assembling this bad boy yeah go for it Alrighty, so uh, now we're going to dive into just the assembly of the T-slot uh, aluminum framing material. Uh, you can see down here, uh, we've gone to the trouble to go ahead and label these things for you. You know, where the top bottom matters. Uh, and so you know, it's A, B, C, D, E, F, G, all that good stuff. Um, and then they're called out in the uh, parts inventory and in the assembly instructions in the manual. So. And here's what the hardware looks like. Um, if you've never worked with uh, T-slot aluminum uh, frame or, or the uh, um, fasteners. So basically you've just got, you know, you've got this, uh, excuse my manicure job there, folks. The, you basically just got, you know, it's, it's a metric, uh, metric Allen head it got a little square nut and this nut will go into the to this t-slot here all right so the easiest way to do these typically is just hold the nut there between your two fingers and then just go ahead and give it a couple couple turns you don't want to turn it too much because you want to give it plenty of uh plenty of travel here Right, and then now we kind of pan down here. You see this little kind of this receiver here, and we'll just slot this round part in here, and then the the square nut goes in the T slot. Okay, boom, just like that. Now we'll take our I'll take our Allen wrench, and we'll work it in here, and just go ahead and tighten it. Okay, and now we've even included a cool little handle for you, so you can get a little bit extra lever on that last quarter or half turn. And there we go, see, nice and tight, and we've got, we included these uh, ball ends, because with T-slot, you're often trying to do these things at an angle, and you can't really, you can't really do that with this side of the wrench. So, um, these ball ends let you get in there and then this tool will let you put a little extra crank on it and get it. All right, so we fast forwarded a little bit here because it's really just like building a Lego kit. Uh, pretty straightforward. The directions are step by step. Uh, you know, always want to remember little stuff like this, like where we have 
you know, it'll ask you to provision a couple nuts in the slot. Um, and, you know, for, well, later on, this is for mounting the seat, but, you know, if you forget stuff like that, you know, then it's a little bit of a thing. You've got to undo these anchors, you know, pull the whole thing out. You just waste time. So where, where it tells you to, you know, provision or put some nuts in the slot first, uh, be sure to remember to do that. Um, and like we said earlier, you know, you can just, you don't have to really tighten things up a whole bunch because um, you may end up kind of wiggling it around and kind of jiggling and walking a walking apart, you know, a few centimeters uh, either way, and then you can kind of tighten up later. Um, but really, not not a whole lot of uh, you know, a whole lot of tricks to it. Just it's like a it's just like a big Lego kit, and uh, you know, just kind of step by step follow the instructions, and you're good. All right, so we're just wrapping up here. The uh, Glider Sim Pro got the uh, got the flight controls on, get the seat in, the rudder pedals, which are uh, which are adjustable. Just loosen these, and it uh, slides uh, backward and forward. Actually, here, Joe, let's demo that real quick. Actually, why don't you nudge it forward? Yeah, so you, you can just slide it forward and you tighten these back up and we can pull it back and pull it back a little bit. I can pull it back, so, yeah. slide it forward. Range. Yeah. Yeah, it goes travel pretty, pretty far. And let's just go ahead and put it right about there. That's kind of comfortable for you. And then, uh, and then yeah, we just got to throw the monitor on. Um, I'll get a video of that here in just a second. Uh, this is the at the gliding goat on Instagram and uh, photographer Supreme, Mr. Joe Capra. And uh, this is the uh, Glider Sim Pro. Getting ready to rip it up here at Crystal. Go for it. All right, so we're pretty much all done. Uh, all we've got to do now is route the cabling, uh, get the PC hooked up all that kind of stuff. We're running out of gas a little bit today. Joe can kind of come back here to show how we uh, mounted up the monitor. we got the keyboard tray in there, good old cup holder, we got our landing gear, joystick, air brakes, flaps, some rotary knobs, toe release, all that good stuff. Rudder, rudder pedals, and uh, we get the monitor on there. This is just a Sanda standard uh, Visa mount. Um, most gaming monitors are going to have uh, you know Visa mount uh, provision on the back, and we include the mounting bracket. And uh, you know this is pretty pretty stable. Um, we're going to have an option for a uh, sorry, come around here. We're going to have an option for three monitor setup. And we'll just end up putting an angle bracket here uh, with some more uh, T-slot coming out. And then you can have monitor two and monitor three on either side of this of this uh, stanchion here uh, coming across. And uh, that'll be coming soon. So there you have it. The Glider Sim Pro, just soaring. <laughs>